Hello and welcome. Today, we're going to take a look at how to navigate around Tabs 3 Billing, Practice Master, and the financial software. The same elements that we talk about here are used throughout all Tabs 3 software applications. Once you've opened any Tabs 3 software application, you'll be prompted to log in using a username and a password. If you're configuring the Tabs 3 software for the first time, see the Administrator Guide for assistance on setting up logins and to learn more about the software. The Quick Launch pane has everything you need to navigate the software, so let's start there. One of the most useful functions in the Quick Launch is the Search Actions box. You can type the name of any action, file, or report in the software, making it one of the easiest ways to get around or find what you need. A Pinned Actions section is located at the top of the Quick Launch and contains the more commonly used features in the software. The Quick Launch can be customized to show only the actions or matters that you need to see. For more information, check out the Customizing and Using Quick Launch video. At the bottom of the pane, you can quickly access other applications, like Practice Master or Tabs 3 Financials, using the Application Toolbar. The Home page is another way to navigate in the software. Notice that there are multiple tabs. The Dashboard tab contains graphs and widgets that allow you to see application-specific information at a glance. The All Actions tab includes access to all features in the software. It's divided into groups, and clicking any group will display the actions within. Clicking any of the actions will launch that feature in a new tab. Click the link at the top of the page to return to a higher group. The My Actions tab is another way to access features in the software and allows you to customize its content to fit your individual needs. Each user can configure their My Actions to show what files, reports, or utilities they need access to, sorted and grouped by their preferences. For more information on customizing My Actions, check out the Using and Customizing My Actions video. Each tab at the top of the main application window indicates what features are currently open. This allows you to easily switch between tasks without losing what you're working on. In addition to other standard methods, you can close the current window by pressing the Escape key. Another way to navigate to features in the software is via the menus at the top of the main application window. These menus provide access to features and functions grouped into separate areas, just like the groups in all actions. In addition to available features, notice that keyboard shortcuts are listed for many of the items in the menu. These shortcuts provide quick access to frequently used features. Selecting the Help Topics option on the Help menu opens the main Help window, where you can easily search for help using the extensive index or text search features. Help pages are context sensitive, so if you need help on a feature that you're currently using, you don't have to worry about searching for the correct help topic. Simply press F1 or click the Help button on the taskbar to open the help page specific to the feature that you're using. In addition to the help functions, the Help menu provides access to additional sources of training and information, such as training videos and the online knowledge base. New features are always being added to the software, so it's a good idea to check for updates occasionally. The About window contains details about the software, including information that will be requested from our technical support team if you need to contact us, such as the serial number and the product version. Now that you're more familiar with the basic navigational methods used throughout the Tabs 3 software, you're ready to start using the software. Thanks for watching. See you next time.